Okay, we'll come back to our series of one hub. Today, box would be Mercury, and to save the time, I have already imported into the virtual box. The IP address of the box has been identified as two hundred and fifty-four, and as you can see from the screen,、uh, the map scanning result tell us. The two open ports. The first one is twenty-two for SSH, and、uh, at zero, at zero for HTTP. And from the banner, we can know the target runs by some sort of a Python. Okay, so that that's about the map scanning result. Of course, the next thing we can do is to do some. Emulation for the HTTP service, because SSH service doesn't have any vulnerability, we can utilize or explore. Okay, let's open our browser and、uh, private window. Let's go to the address of the target and specify the port number. Okay, it says hello. This site is currently in development. Please check back later. Hmm. So of course, the no valuable information for us. Let's check some source code of the page. Also, nothing here. So maybe we can run some uh some very basic enumeration like robots. Yeah, but、uh, nothing, nothing much、uh, presented to us. So maybe we can run some very basic.、Uh, no, not a very basic.、Uh, try some、uh, directory like、uh, random. Yeah. So the page not found. So from the returned page, confirm. The map scanning result. This, the target is managed by some sort of a Python framework, and、uh, as you can see, as you can see, the the framework is Django, and、um, prob probably the administrator doesn't configure properly. Give us so many, so much information. Like、uh, this is, the, I think, the path. So it says that we just now we input the URL path. We 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 input cannot find, cannot be found in the in the patterns. You in in the URL patterns. You are familiar if you are familiar with the Django, you know the Django has some. Mechanism of a router, or and such a router, can be defined in the URL patterns. And if the Django framework cannot find the the pattern which matches、uh, the the items listed in the path variable, and、uh, it will return the error message just、uh, just like、uh, the message here. Displayed here. So, but、uh, have you noticed that、uh, there one there is one directory, Mercury Facts. So it is a very good thing for us, right? So we can copy the directory and、uh, paste in here. So yeah, now we have some、uh, something. And、uh, the two super links. The one is load, a load effect, load effect, and、uh, yeah. And another one is scene list. So still something to do. At the CSS implement authentication using the user tables. 
So use models in Django instead of direct MySQL core, all the other stuff so much. Okay, so now we go back to our another link. Yeah, as you can see, uh, automatically the address of the URL has has been has been one. So this must be like we can try like uh, two different message displayed over here. So I think uh, there should be some sort of SQL vulnerability, right? Like we can try the code. And here you can see you have an error in your SQL syntax. So from the message, from the error message, we can we can make sure that there is some sort of SQL vulnerability, but we need to exploit this vulnerability, and the the easiest way to to use or to do is by two of SQL map. Okay, let's do it. And then let's copy our URL paste into here okay I think uh, now it's good we configure the command correctly properly right let's go it's good to go uh, do you want to try URI injections in the target URL itself, yes, of course. And the direct, do you want to follow the direction? No problem, direct, redirect. So I think uh, the parameter might be injectable. Do you want to skip test payloads specific for other databases? Yes, no. Yes, I, I, I want to skip to save the time because we now we have already know the database, the backend database is MySQL. And for the remaining tests, do you want to include all tests for MySQL? Extending provided level? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Let's try. And let's wait for this to be finished, and then we can move forward. Yeah, appears to to be injectable. It's a good thing, right? So URL parameter is vulnerable. Do you want to keep testing the errors? No, unnecessary. So now we have already know we have already confirmed uh, the SQL vulnerability by SQL map. And then we can enumerate the database. Database, specify the command or parameter as DBS. Okay, the, the result is quickly returned. The database name is Mercury and we can then we can specify the database as Mercury and to list the tables in this database. Oh, just uh, the two tables in this database of Mercury. And then we can specify the table as users, but we need to, to know how many columns in this table? Yeah, there are three columns. I think what we are interested in is the two column, the password and the username. And let's dump the data from or of these two columns. Let's specify the column username and the password and specify the dump.
Yeah, please wait. Yeah, retrieved. Very quickly. Yeah. Oh, sorry, but it doesn't have any information. Maybe we can do it again. Oh, sorry, password not、uh, pass. I think、uh, this is password not pass. Let's do it again. This is my bad. So we have already dumped the data from the table of users in the database of Mercury, and、uh, of course it is reasonable.、Uh, the、uh, such users use the these credentials to log in, log into the SSH service. Let's try it. SSH, John. Password. Let's copy the password. It doesn't work. So maybe we can try the next username. Lola. Let's copy the password and paste here. Oh, it's still not working. It's. That it doesn't matter. It's okay. We can try the next one. It's Sam. Copy the password for the Sam. And let's. I think、uh, we can try the final one. The webmaster. And、uh, also, we can copy very long password, very lengthy. Okay, we successfully log in as webmaster to the target, and we can make some very basic local emulation, and、uh, we can list the content of the home directory of the user. And we got the user flag. Yeah, and we do not have the bash history because it's redirected to the black hole. But there is one directory which is Mercury Project. Let's go to this directory. This content. Yeah, we can cut the this file. So project accounts both restrict. So I think、uh, this should be the password for the another user Linux master. And then let's decode. Yeah, we got the password for the for the Linux master. Let's switch. To the Linux master, and paste the password of the Linux master. Yeah, now we can check ID, no problem, and、uh, we can list the content, nothing at all in in his in its in his sorry in his home directory. And but we can check the the sudo. Yeah, the root. So the user Linux master may run the following commands on Mercury. And as root set nv, and let's cut the content of this script, the bash script. Also, can con cut the content of this script. So this one must be. So as you can see, the script doesn't、uh, specify the absolute path of the tail. So maybe we can utilize this point to escalate our privilege to loot. And let's. So what we can do, let's.
and to the so this will set up the soft link for the VI. So now the tail, the function of the tail will be different. It's it's actually run as editor. And we can export export uh, pass. Uh, we can cut the pass. Mm -hmm. No such. What's the problem? Export. So export pass. Copy again. We can cut the pass again. So what's wrong? Uh, maybe we can. Mm hmm. Hmm. Field. No such. So what's the matter with hmm sorry maybe uh sorry I cannot uh, make exclusion for the privilege maybe I need to give up and uh, in the future if we I can fix this issue and then I will uh, make another video to compensate this part. So thank you. That's it for today's box, which is Mercury. Thank you for your time and the patience. Bye.